Welcome back to the Let's Play episode 21. I'm outnumbered and in the last episode we went to the nether roof and built a frog light farm and we also defeated the wither and crafted our very first beacon. In between episodes I uh, I did go back and put another layer on the beacon so we do have the full four tiered effect now which means we can get haste uh, and what is it regen? Yeah regeneration and haste at the same time. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> but uh, in between episodes, I've been hard at work here at the base trying to make things a little nicer. Um, I guess I can't really hide the obvious. There's a new build here, and uh, it's primarily built out of quartz. Uh, we've got some nether brick for the roof trim, and I went ahead and used the um, crimson wood. Uh, yeah, it's crimson, right? Yeah, crim warped and crimson. Uh, this one here. Uh, so I've been uh, farming this wood here, outside the nether, of course. <laughs> it's a little safer to do. And I've been using this wood on the roof, which I still need to finish. Um, I'll fly over it in just a second so you can have a look. But uh, basically, I've just been farming this tree here. And if you use the hoe on the uh, crimson... What is this one called? Is it nylium? Um, this block here. Uh, then you can put it back into a composter. Uh, which I have down below, and get bone meal, which you can use to uh, grow up uh, more crimson wood. So uh, it's kind of a self-sustaining farm once it's up and running. And uh, I just started using the uh, crimson wood, and then I ran out, and so I had to grow some more on my own. Uh, let's see, I guess I shouldn't mine this whole tree. <laughs> it's going to take too long. I'll, I'll come back and mine it down later. Because I want to show you another change down in the storage room. And that is that uh, I worked on the floor a little bit so I could give myself some extra headspace. If you remember, uh, under the floor in this building here, where we have our villager trading hall, it used to be only two blocks tall. And uh, I was always dragging my head on the ceiling here. So what I went and did is I lowered the floor down. Um, and I remembered glass is a non-spawnable block. And so... We shouldn't have problems with mobs or even iron golems spawning down here since what we did was we put uh, some light blocks um, down two blocks deep and then I went with a layer of the uh, white stained glass above that. So that was a little expensive with bone meal but we had enough because we brought a lot of bones back with us um, in the last episode. Uh, so yeah, I think you can kind of tell what light blocks I'm using here. I, I would have preferred to use all of these ochre uh, frog lights, the yellow ones, which are the, they kind of look white almost under the glass, um, but I, I didn't really have enough. Uh, so I tried to mix in some other light blocks. Uh, the glowstone, I'm not thrilled about, but these, um, what are the ones that you get? Uh, these ones? <laughs> yeah, what, are, what are they called? I have some in here somewhere. Uh, shroom lights. I used almost all my shroom lights in the floor. Um, we should get some more now that we're farming the uh, crimson wood out there we'll get some more of the um, shroom lights but uh yeah maybe we'll just replace eventually with all the uh, frog lights but for now this is what we have for floor and i think it's a really cool effect especially with the glass uh over over the lights is what i put stone um border around and what it kind of looks like is a reflection almost um in the glass so i really like that effect and uh, now we have a little bit of extra headroom in here as well is it nighttime no. Okay, let's go back out. I have more things to show you. Just a quick correction, and then I'll show you the uh, new the new build over here. Uh, this block here, these are... What are they called again? <laughs> Nether Wart Block, right? I always forget the name of those. And the Crimson Nihilium is actually uh, this block here. Um, the one you can get in the Nether in the Crimson Forest, and you can actually turn Netherrack into this block which i can show you if we just bone meal it uh then the the crimson nylium spreads over to the um the netherrack so that's good um and then as i was telling you earlier this uh nether wart block can be uh recycled so i put it back into this uh composter contraption here it gets composted and then it gives me more bone meal which is good because i can use the bone meal uh, to get, uh, not those. <laughs> those are also compostable, by the way. Uh, we can put those in the composter and get bone meal, but uh, this is what I was looking for right here, uh, which is, what is it called? <laughs> is it called like a stem or something? Uh, the fungus, crimson fungus. 
Um, and then what I do is I just throw that back in and uh, bone meal it up and it gives us one of those uh, crimson trees like that. Ooh, that's a good one too. We're going to get a lot of wood out of that one, uh, but we'll, we'll mine it later. I just wanted to show you that real quick in case you didn't know and apparently I didn't either, so don't feel bad. Uh, okay, our new build here. Uh, this was very quartz expensive. I think I mentioned it, but um, I need to put an emphasis on it because it really was quite pricey. Um, I had to buy quartz from uh, our villagers in the villager trading hall, and we have three uh, stonemasons that trade quartz, but uh, it did take a lot of my emeralds. Um, but uh, let me show you inside real quick. So I'm thinking this is the main entrance off to the side here. And this is the shorter side of the house. It has um, kind of a less sloped roof and uh, only one only one floor. Uh, the other side actually has two floors. I already put in the second floor and we can go up there and take a look. It's not fully decorated or anything, but there are some interior spaces. Uh, downstairs, we do have this room here, uh, which is just slabbed up for now. Although I do kind of like it slabbed and we might introduce some uh, subtle height variations within the interior spaces and I was kind of thinking about making a little tatami room as well uh, which is kind of a Japanese thing um, we might use hay bales for that I think that'll look quite nice oh also there's some height variation over here there's a couple steps that go up and then there's kind of like a, a seating area that's uh, raised up and you'll be able to look over the edge uh, like a balcony kind of but inside I'll probably put some fence gates here or something just to separate the uh, the area from the rest of the space. But let's go upstairs now. We have a little crafting area, little nook here. And then we have stairs that actually has a couple of landings. So you come up a couple steps and then you have this little landing here. Oh, there's a lantern, nice. Um, and then you go up a couple more steps and you have uh, the second landing <laughs> and then up the last bit of steps. So it's kind of like a spiral staircase, but a little bit less spirally, <laughs> um, which I think kind of is nice because you get a little bit dizzy going around and around as you ascend. And so uh, this way it's a little bit more of a gradual transition, but this leads up to the second floor, another lantern. Uh, these stairs go up to the attic, which is also unfinished, um, but it, most of the blocks are in. I don't know what I'm going to do with this space yet. Uh, but I do need to finish the roof, and so we'll be working on that in this episode. Uh, so this is the crimson stairs here, and then as the border we're using the uh, nether brick stairs. Uh, but I was actually thinking if we can get it to work, what I might do is uh, over there the... Um, what's that one called? <laughs> From the mangrove swamp? Ah, uh, mangrove wood. We might try to introduce some mangrove wood in here too, kind of like we did on the roofs of these first structures that we built, how we mixed in the warped wood with uh, some of those prismarine blocks, prismarine stairs. Uh, so we might try to do a similar kind of thing, but using the, uh, the mangrove wood. All right, let's go back out of the attic. We don't need to be up here yet until we're working on the roof. And if we head down here, we do have a little room here. I thought it would be kind of nice if uh, we brought some of the crimson wood from outside inside. So I did the wall and the ceiling with the uh, crimson wood planks. And I think that kind of looks like a nice little transition. You can see these beams here. And of course, <laughs> there's a lantern hanging from one of them. Uh, no door in yet, I haven't gotten to it. Uh, this is kind of nice. It frames this little um, area or here where the um, exterior is actually made of white wool. And uh, we put some, uh, I put some fence gates in here to kind of be like a, an open window. Uh, there's a little one up there too as well. Uh, that's all I could fit in because uh, behind here is actually uh, part of the roof of the, uh, the next addition over there. Uh, we do have a second room up here as well, although this is uh, mostly unfinished, but it is a larger room. I might do kind of another like an accent wall in here to just kind of break it up a little, kind of like we did in here, uh, but not using the crimson planks. So maybe, maybe a different block. Maybe even the uh, warped, what is it called again? <laughs> I already forgot. The uh, warped nether, nether, nether warp block. Nether warp block, is that what it's called? You know, the one from the uh, crimson tree. Anyways, let's head back downstairs, and I think we'll work on this build a little bit more 
at the end of the episode. But what I was thinking is we might go on a bit of an adventure in this episode. Oh, this is one of my favorite views back here of the build. It's kind of a shame that there's no really good vantage point to view it from. Um, but I really do like this angle. You can kind of see how tall the build is. And then you get kind of a hint of the, uh, the extra little addition there. Um, and it has this um, pretty cool like balcony area here that you can't even step up on, <laughs> which uh, might be um, a problem. I guess we could put some steps in or something, uh, but I like how that we might actually just close this off a little bit, put in some fences here to kind of separate it so you can't go up there. Uh, that's an option. Also, what is this? <laughs> Well, I might need to fill this in with some blocks. Um, anyways, it's a new build, so there's a lot to work on here. Uh, but what I want to do now is check on some of the farms we built in the last episode. We had, uh, what was it, pumpkins down here, as well as sugarcane and bamboo. Okay, sugarcane and bamboo comes in very slowly, but we did accumulate some. This was all generated by the farm while we were building on that build up there. And then over here, the pumpkins <laughs> wow look at that they're um the the dirt blocks became grass blocks i didn't expect that would happen <laughs> but there must have been another grass block connecting nearby and it spread to all of these dirt blocks it actually looks pretty nice and it still works it's still functional the pumpkins still get smashed through the block that's really cool i'm gonna have to remember that in the future if i make another pumpkin farm to uh use grass blocks instead of just dirt blocks. That, that's really neat looking. Uh, let's check on the pumpkins. I bet we have a lot. Yeah, let's let's load up on these because uh, I need to kind of replenish some of my... Uh, we'll leave those in. Um, I need to repl replenish my uh, emerald supply, which got depleted buying uh, all this quartz. <laughs> that is a lot of quartz. I only have two farmer villagers that trade pumpkins, so it's a little bit slow, <laughs> but we do get pretty good emeralds from that. Um, I guess we could go trade at the other villager trading hall here. Let's just put these pumpkins in here for now. We're going to trade these away later. And we do have other farmers at our first trading hall that we could trade pumpkins to. We might make a trip over there, actually, just to pick up a few emeralds. Um, but as I was telling you, um, my plan for this episode is actually to go on a bit of an adventure. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's sleep. And that adventure it will take us to the Woodland Mansion. Um, I can't remember what episode it was, but uh, one of the uh, early episodes, we traded with a cartographer villager. And we actually got a Woodland Explorer map, and we've uh, never checked it out. I guess we really just didn't have time. But let's go over and pick it up now. It's oh, oh, I should have brought pumpkins with me. <laughs> uh, I'm so inefficient at this game. All right, let's land here. This is where the uh, old villager trading hall was. Down here, and how are they doing? I haven't seen everybody in a while. Oh, I need to bring Netherwart over to the new base. Because um, uh, it's too much of a hassle to come over here every time I want some. Uh, we do have a little bit in the barrel, though, we can take with us. And uh, here's the villagers here. Uh, we had a cartographer in there at one point. Oh, he's probably still in there. Um, we used it to buy one of those maps to the um, uh, trial chambers, but we also purchased, where is it? Yeah, this here, the uh, Woodland woodland Explorer map. Ooh, food. I'm going to need that soon. <laughs> Let's take the food with us as well. I forgot we had, oh yeah, we got a whole stack of emeralds here. Um, I want to leave some emeralds here. Um, but I'm going to take this uh, stack of emerald blocks back over to the area where we're working. And this is my only enchanting setup at the moment as well. I haven't had to do much enchanting lately, but I do have 65 levels to use. So I'll probably come back here soon. Um, let's see. Upstairs. Where's Delilah? I haven't checked on my kitty in a while. There she is. What are you doing outside? What are you doing outside, Delilah? I thought I brought you inside. You're an indoor cat now. I need to keep you safe. <laughs> Can you come in? Hello, Delilah. Oh, you're at the back window. <laughs> Can I actually let you in this window? Yay, she's inside now. All right, you sit right there on the bed. We'll, we'll keep you nice and safe. There we go, close that up. And let's close this up as well and head back over to the area where we're working. Actually, we should check on the iron farm while we're over here. Um, I bet there's a lot of good stuff over 
at these farms. We haven't checked in a while. Oh, pumpkin, uh, melons. We can take those with us. I'll take some melons. We have a melon trade uh, over at our new villager trading hall as well. And I bet the iron is just overflowing, isn't it? Iron is another tradable at our new villager trading hall. Ah, <laughs> there's so much in here. Um, okay, I crafted these blocks a long time ago. Let's take them out now. And we can at least take these back. And I'm going to move the poppies down. Actually, we can compost the poppies. How many can I carry? Uh, okay, let's just take as many back as we can. There we go. I should really do some more maintenance <laughs> on this area. Here, we'll put the flowers down at the bottom. And then, can I spread this out? I want the iron to fill up. Okay, just a couple more here. Alright, there we go. And now we can get more iron coming in. I guess it's a good thing we checked on our farms. I wonder how this one is doing. This is the uh, original bamboo and sugar cane. Oh, that's nice. We do have quite a bit in there. About half the chest is full. And downstairs we also had a manual bee farm. How's everybody doing? And yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I have flowers in my hand. That's why. And I think there are too many bees in here. Uh, they're, oh man, and the beehives are just overflowing with honey. All right, I have some work to do here, so I'll be right back. So we've got our Woodland Explorer map in hand, and we're ready to go seek the um, Woodland Mansion. Um, but for, before we head there, I do have one more farm to tell you about, and that's the Froglight Farm. Um, but I guess I don't really have to tell you. I can just show you, because I have a little clip. And as you saw in the clip there, we can get um, all three colors of the uh, frog lights now that we have all three color frogs in our farm, which is great. Uh, so I'll do some more work there, but it's all going to be in between episodes and we'll get even more frog lights. Uh, so far, I just have a few stacks of each, but it, it's enough for now. All right, the sun is setting, so we're going to go ahead and sleep. But uh, let's check our map here real quick. Okay, there's the Woodland Mansion there on the right side of the map. And it looks like we need to head... Uh, straight north because we're down in the right corner there so we should just have to fly uh, straight that way which is north and uh, we'll be able to get to the woodland mansion as long as it's not too far away all right i've got uh, some extra rockets and some extra food and we got our woodland explorer map let's go north and see how long it takes to get there it's probably a couple thousand blocks away, so we'll see. I don't expect that we're going to get there that fast. Uh, can I look at the map actually while I'm flying? Yes, I can. So that'll help a little bit. There's some uh, familiar sites out here. We've got uh, the Badlands over here, and I think this is our closest desert. Uh, we just passed the Savannah Village that we got a villager from for our villager breeder and first trading hall. 
And we've been out this way before as well. This is, um, there's warm ocean out here. We found sniffer eggs a few episodes back. I need to come back out here at some point and uh, mine up some sand. That might be a good spot right there to get a bunch of sand. I was also thinking if we should drain down the ocean monument in this Let's Play. I know we did it in season... Did we do it in season 1 and 2? Uh, well, maybe we should do it then. <laughs> It is a lot of work though. Uh, okay, we've got a uh, desert village coming up. That's pretty cool. And some more badlands over on the left, but we're not really any closer to the woodland mansion. So we've got a long way to go. We did get a little bit bigger on the uh, map, and I see a roof forest here. So the mansion should be just ahead. I'm looking for it, but I don't actually see it here. It's going to be kind of hard to miss, I think. Okay, we got more roof forest up ahead. Let's check for a woodland mansion here. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I knew it would be difficult to miss right on the edge of the roof forest. I think we'll just land on the roof and actually uh, probably light up a nice little area and set our spawn. Uh, then we'll go in and uh, have a look around. I need to wait for my computer to catch up as well. Ouch, the lag. <laughs> All right, I've got my spawn set here. I placed down my ender chest. I also put my wings away and replaced them with the uh, chest plate here. Uh, it's better than nothing. Just a gold chest plate, though, with fire protection on it. I had a peek inside already, but it looks like we're just above the stairs here, and it's going nighttime, which might actually help us out a little. We've got our first mob right here, but I think uh, I'm going to start here at the roof. And, oh, there's a pillager head right there. Sometimes, isn't there loot behind those? Uh, let's see, I'm just going to make my way down here. Oh, glass panes. Uh, do I want to keep those? Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right. And then I don't have very many blocks here, so I'm just taking the blocks that I pick up and repurposing them. Uh, let's place a block here so we can get down, and then we'll just mine our way to the floor. I'm hoping to take out like all the evokers first. Okay, there's some pillagers right there. Oh, they have to get kind of close to be able to see me. Uh, but this is a good place to kind of take them out. Um, I want to go after the evokers first, like I was saying. Um, there's some there's some of the more difficult mobs to fight. Let's see, is this a safe place? <laughs> no mobs can spawn out there, right? All right, let's keep going down. And I'll be able to reuse these blocks. Uh, I'll probably just jump down from here, though. Oh, I hear a spoiler somewhere. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's just go in. <laughs> Took a long time to get here. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight some mobs. Okay, let's torch this up a little bit here. There we go. And we'll make our way through. This is kind of weird, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> I might fix that later. All right, here we go. I hear pillagers. And where are they? There we go. <laughs> okay, we got a good bow. We got decent armor, but these guys will still destroy us. So we have to be very careful up here. Um, but if we die, we'll just spawn on the roof and it should be fine. All right, let's light up some of these rooms. That'll help keep them safe from the uh, regular mobs. Ooh, an emerald. I hear a spider somewhere. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's in here? Okay, no evokers in this room. That's good. Let's light it up a bit. And I don't know where the spider is, but I hear one around here somewhere. Oh, it's a skeleton. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, he got an easy shot off on me. Two of them, even. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Oh, another one. I guess I should be grateful when I see these regular mobs. They're much easier than the uh, the pillagers to fight. Oh, let me in this room, please. Need to eat a carrot. 
All right, I hear another pillager and that same spider too. Where's all the evokers? I kind of want to rush the evokers and just uh, kind of deal with them. Okay, there's a spider right there. Where's all the evokers? Not in this room. Maybe they're downstairs. Okay, not in here either. I keep getting junk on my hotbar. I don't want it there. <laughs> All right, let's go back. We must have missed some mobs uh, back through here. We probably just need to go downstairs. Ah, that's a creeper. <laughs> oh, I punched him right down the stairs there. But he's not out yet. How did he spawn? Where did he spawn from? All right, let's go downstairs then. I'm sure that's where all the hard mobs are. Yeah, I hear them down there. <laughs> and I'm scared. Stop getting junk on my hotbar. Hey, there we go. There's some guys. Okay, let's take them out from the top of the stairs. If they'll follow me up here, that's got to be the best way, right? Okay, sneaking my way back down. They don't see me? I see feet. <laughs> I got him. Okay, there's another one down the hall there. I hear a witch as well. That's interesting. I think I need to light up uh, around the stairs here. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Because sometimes there's mob spawn back here. And they're, ah, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> We've got pillagers. Uh, are they chasing me? Okay, yeah, that's too many. Stay back. I can take them from a distance, but uh, up close, they will destroy me. Okay, I hear a zombie. Am I picking up the junk? Just keep it off my hotbar. Alright, so we cleared an area back here. I don't know how they uh, were able to fall on me. Is there a room up there? Okay, I think most of the mobs I'm hearing are outside. Let's go back. Back downstairs and see. Okay, there's an evoker in there. Oh, I missed. I think there are two shots. I don't want him to spawn in any vex, so we got to be really careful about that. Uh, if we get. Okay, I just got a totem of undying, and I'm not using a shield. Let's go ahead and use the totem of undying. Uh, okay, we've got some regular mobs coming in. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> All right, from Die Hard. All right, who else we got? I hear more pillagers. So we got one evoker. Where's the baby? <laughs> Scared me. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing. I, it sounded like there's a spider in there. Uh, we should really just start lighting these rooms up. And that'll keep the uh, regular mob spawning down. Let's throw a torch in here as well. All right, so I see a creeper in the cage. <laughs> And I think there's a chest up here. Okay, there's the spider I was hearing. Get rid of that guy. And uh, I want to climb the stairs if it's safe to. Any mobs up there? I don't know. Let's have a look. I hear another spider, maybe? No, there's nothing. There's no mobs up here. But there should be a chest somewhere, right? Let's have a look around. Okay, there we go. We got a chest. What's oh, an armor trim? We got the Vex armor trim. That's awesome. And silk touch on a on a a book. That's pretty good. Uh, bones are nice. What else can we take from here? I guess string, and a bucket. <laughs> Redstone, you can stay. You too, pumpkin seeds. All right, let's go back downstairs. There's a lot more to see here. I went back up on the roof and secured the uh, the armor trim that we got because it's kind of a valuable loot. And I also slept away the night, but we're not done exploring the Woodland Mansion. Let's keep looking. Ah, uh, this is an interesting room. <laughs> a little bit of light would be nice. I hear a witch somewhere. Some of these mobs could just be outside. And there should still be another evoker somewhere as well. Oh, I hear a skeleton.
Yeah, I think there should be an evoker around here somewhere, right? Okay, not in this room. It's much nicer having it daytime outside, though. The rooms are so much brighter. Okay, what was that? <laughs> I heard a mob, a zombie or something. All right. Oh, there we go. That's where the zombies were. Where are you guys coming from? Oh, maybe downstairs. I bet it's all dark down there. I hear a baby zombie too? Where? Oh, so many zombies. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Maybe in here? Nope, nothing. There must be another evoker somewhere. Okay, this room is awful dark, but no mobs in it. Oh, I hear a lot of baddies down here. Where are they? Okay, we got another cage room. Let's light it up. Okay, we got creepers in there, so let's be careful. I don't want to I don't want to blow up the uh mansion if I don't have to. Oh, there we go. Creeper. Anybody else? Oh, we've already been in this room? There's a torch in here. So maybe we just worked our way around in a circle? Huh. Don't tell me there's no more evokers. There must be. Okay, caged room. Yeah, we've seen this one. So I guess it's just this room here that we haven't explored yet. You can't tell me this is where all the mobs are coming from. Okay, we got a creeper. Okay, taken care of. They must be downstairs, because I don't see anybody in here. Here, let's light it up. Ah, another creeper. Okay, let's back up. <laughs> Where'd the creeper go? <laughs> All right, is anybody upstairs? It doesn't look like it. Let's go up and loot another chest. Where's the ladder? Hey, there should be a ladder here. Where's the ladder? <laughs> All right, I'll block up. It's kind of risky, though. Okay, we've got another chest here. Another armor trim. Fantastic. Ooh, and a golden apple. That might be useful. I'll take the diamond hoe and gunpowder will help us get back home. We can make some rockets. Uh, the bread, you can stay. And here, have some axes too. They're taking up my valuable inventory space. All right. All right, I guess we're going back down. Okay, that was the baby zombie. I guess we're going downstairs now. <laughs> Where's the rest of them? They must be just beneath me. Oh, I heard a mob drop. Uh, this is going to be dangerous, but we can always retreat, right? Okay, let's go out the front door real quick. Oh, that's still many. <laughs> Oh, the creepers, too. Oh, <laughs> right in my face. Ah, uh, there's another one. Hello, creeper. Ooh, I knew it would be dangerous down here. All right, let's light this area up. <laughs> no more mods, a creeper. <laughs> Didn't blow up, though. That's pretty good. All right, can I light, finish lighting this up now? Thank you. XP and loot. All right, if we need to, we can run up the stairs. We also have our golden apple, so we should be no worries down here. Okay, we lit up that room, and let's light up the corner here. 
Uh, we can also run outside if we need to. Okay, no room there. Uh, okay, it's pretty dark down here. I see zombie. I see spider. I probably heard some of these mobs from upstairs. What is this room? It looks really interesting. It's a giant pillager head. <laughs> what are these things? I don't know what those are supposed to be. Okay, there's a skeleton. Oh, and some zombies have found me. Let's run out the room real quick. And down the hall. Ah, uh, too slow. All right, who's next? Well, that's the Woodland Mansion done, and I am almost out of time for this episode. Um, I'm actually afraid this episode might be just a little bit long, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. We had a really good time uh, exploring this uh, Woodland Mansion, and I went back through each room, and I don't think I missed any, but let me know in the comments below if you think I missed any uh, hidden loot chests or anything. Uh, we didn't really get much except for a Totem of Undying. There was only one Evoker in this Woodland Mansion. Um, we did, however, get... Uh, what was it? Two Vex Armor Trim and a Silk Touch Pick. Uh, we got two Diamond Hose and then some other miscellaneous loot there. Um, but not not that much. Um, this There were no Allays either and only one Evoker, so not the best Woodland Mansion I've ever seen. Um, but we did it. We looted it. We came. We saw it. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode of the Let's Play. Thanks for watching.